Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the Zcam camera integration with Scratch VRZ in which we're going to show the live streaming functionality, file management and wonder stitch. Before we start, please note that you need a special license for the integrated Zcam functions. Contact licensing at assimilating.com on how to upgrade your license. You can update your license from the licensing panel that you can open from the system settings dialog. Also note that, to use the WonderStitch functionality, you need a separate license and install WonderStitch software, both of which are available from the Zcam website. Back to the Zcam functions, and we start with capturing a live feed. There are different applications for capturing the live feed of the camera. You can use this on set for previewing your set in 360 in a headset, while testing different grades and looks, or testing green screen setups. One of the most interesting applications, though, is to take the live stream from the camera and enhance it by using the Scratch Grading Composite options and directly broadcast it to the Internet. The setup for this is not that complex. You just need your camera, a reasonable powerful computer and a good Internet connection with sufficient bandwidth. Preferably, you connect the camera directly to your computer if it has two network adapters. Alternatively, you can connect the camera over a local network but when dealing with higher resolutions, the direct connection is preferred. Furthermore, make sure the computer has a modern graphics card to ensure the stitching is done in real time, as well as sufficient CPU power to decode the incoming H.264 streams. During a live stream, the camera will send four individual H.264 streams over the Ethernet connection to Scratch, which will then stitch those four streams into a single rectangular image in real time. We can then add all kinds of grades and composite to the live rectangular stream and once happy with our grade, forward the fully graded and composited stream to Facebook Live, YouTube or your own custom live media server. So let's see how things work in Scratch. When entering a project in Scratch, you'll find the Zcam specific functions in this little drop down down here. If you click it, you'll see three options to choose from. Live, which is the live view, the file management to download clips from the camera and the option to send already downloaded clips to WonderStitch. Let's first have a look at the live option. Clicking this will pop up this little dialog where you can determine your output format and also select a stitching template. A stitch template can first be created by shooting a couple of sample clips with your Zcam S1 and stitching them either in Scratch or in Autopano, PTGUI or Hugin and save the stitch as a template. Scratch can load this stitch template here and use it for the live stitch. Once selected, hit start and you'll find yourself in Scratch's player. On the image settings tab, you can determine all the settings in the camera that have an influence on your image. On the camera setup tab, you can set the viewing resolution and also the streaming bitrate. Hit play to start the stream. So right now we have the camera mounted on top of a car and we're watching this live stream from the camera. We could also review this live stream in an Oculus or HTC Vive headset. Let's go ahead and create a layer. Call this blue sky. And now let's see what we can do to tweak our sky a little bit. First, we're going to draw a canvas around the area where our sky is. Like so. Then go to the qualifier menu, choose the HSV Kia and pick the blue color of our sky. That looks acceptable. Now let's tweak the color of our keyed area. First, let's tweak the gamma a little bit, tweak the master gain, add some blue, and finally also add some saturation. Switching the grade on and off, we can see the difference. Back into 360 mode. Again, grade on off shows the difference. Click the globe icon again to exit 360 view and let's create another layer. This time we're going to put in a logo. Therefore go to the Fill Matte menu, 
and grab a logo. In this case we're grabbing it out of the tray and drop it into the front field. Now this is an image sequence which is 99 frames long. Let's set it to loop so the 99 frames get played back all the time. Now finally let's add the 2D2 Echo Rectangular plugin and place the logo correctly in our spherical environment. We can do that by just dragging and dropping it where we want to have it. If we now switch into 360 mode, we can see the logo sticks to the sky above the street. The only thing left to do now is to start the live stream to Facebook. Therefore, click the Collaborate drop-down in the top menu bar and select Live Stream. Inside here, you can select from the various options, like Facebook or YouTube. Hit Connect and now we're streaming to Facebook. OK, file management and wonder stitch. Let's for a moment go back into the live view. From here, you can trigger the camera into record mode if you enable this option, record on play. Again, you can determine the resolution and also the bitrate the camera will be recording with. Hit play to start the live stream and also the camera recording. Note that if you're live streaming whilst the camera is recording, the live stream won't be as good as without recording. Back to the construct. Now that we've recorded a couple of clips, let's have a look at the file management option. Here Scratch will list all the clips that have been recorded onto the camera's SD cards. Let's select a couple of clips and offload them through the Ethernet connection to our hard drive. Once done, Scratch will automatically load all the clips into the slots of our construct. As you can see, we now have four clips per slot, which are the four different cameras of the Zcam S1. If we now hit the Stitch 360 button, we can determine whether we want to stitch only a specific slot or our full timeline. Also, we can specify a stitching template again. Hit Execute and Scratch will wrap each of the four cameras into a stitch node. If we now enter the player and take a look around, we can have a look at the stitched output. Alternatively to stitching in Scratch, you can also stitch with Zcam's Wonder Stitch application. You can either send the slots containing all source shots that you downloaded from the camera to Wonder Stitch, or after you wrap them in a local 360 stitch node in Scratch, like we did in this example, keeping our timeline a bit more tidy. Choose the Wonder Stitch option from the Zcam dropdown to open the Wonder Stitch panel with all the options. Here you can set the various options for the Wonder Stitch and just hit start. You'll see a little console pop up that um, documents all the frames that are being processed. Once done, just add a new construct and load the stitched clips back into Scratch. Now to make the timeline resolution the same as the source shots, just grab one of the shots, go to outputs and drop it on the main output node like so. Now it might happen that those clips do not ship the metadata to tell Scratch that they are actually VR clips. So in this case we need to tell Scratch manually by selecting all of them, going to the media browser and setting the projection to a rectangle. Done. If we now enter the player, the clips get recognized correctly as 360 clips and we can take a look around in 360 mode. That's it for now, I hope this tutorial was useful to you and see you next time, bye!